conference champions and all set for a new challenge. Just five days ago, Mark Wright and Chester City could hardly wait for the new season to start. I see myself here doing a job here. They're just raring to go now. They want to go and play football. But I want to achieve here for the chairman and for myself. Is it unfair? What's fair in football? I know what the chairman is like. He knows what I'm like. And we're winners. But fast forward a few days and a dramatic turn of events. Mark Wright has gone, a managerial casualty without a ball being kicked. I spoke to Mark at 20 past nine this morning and Mark had left the club at, um, I think it was 9.40. As quick as that? Yeah. Does this suggest that things weren't actually as well as they appeared beforehand? Well, as I say, on the football field, um, we can't fault Mark. Mark Mark's done... It got this club in the position it's in. I funded the club. Mark's brought the players in, and we're back in the football league. Um, what it does mean, it's a, um, it's a non-football related matter, uh, of which um, it's a personal thing. Mark Wright's assistant David Moss left too, just 24 hours to kick off, and the managerial void quickly filled by Ray Mathias. Football's football, isn't it? And anything can happen these days. You know, you're in one minute and out the next, and. Uh, that's obviously the situation with Mark, but uh, you know I've been called in to try and do the job, and hopefully if we can get good results tomorrow, it'll go a long way in uh, concreting the job for me. Chester's chairman wouldn't expand on the non-footballing reasons for Wright's departure. One thing is clear, the episodes left Chester's fans dazed and not a little confused. I think it's shocking, you know, I mean, he's done a lot for the club, so uh, I don't know if they're going to replace him with really. It's just a strange timing, you know, because he's a very, very good manager. That's just insane, isn't it? What are they going to do now? I don't know. Who are they going to get? I've got one message to our support. They need to worry when I start walking away. I'm funding this club. I'm the only non-paid member of this company. You know, I've put £3 million into it. I'm not going to let it blow up in my face. I'm looking at moving forward, and I still feel that this club will win the, win the, the new Division Two Championship this coming season.